remote worker options for Shortel 14.2 and Mitel Connect with the impetus for a lot of organizations to start their employees working from home. Without we take this time and let you know about the options you have currently in your Shortel system uh, and options that you may want to add. So the first thing we want to take a look at is what type of software you're currently running. If you haven't gone up to Connect yet, you're a little bit behind. Uh, one of the options will come off the table. Um, the other option you also want to know is, are you currently, does your company's infrastructure currently support any remote workers through VPN connectivity, whether it be the branch tunnel and or um, client software? So, as I mentioned, if you're running versions of Shortel that is older than 14.2, so earlier, I guess, um, would be, then Mitel Connect is you're going to have fewer options for remote. So what you'll have today is remote hard phones and soft phones over a VPN gateway, which is usually defined as a branch tunnel. This is a piece of hardware device at the remote location that is going to connect to your headquarters VPN concentrator, SSL concentrator. Remote soft phones over VPN connections. If you have deployed VPN software clients to your users, they might be able to, if they have the right access, the right routes, be able to open up their communicator client or their short tell client and run a soft phone and connect that way. The last option is external assignment, which is available in the phone in the system as well. And if you are running Mitel Connect, you do have the options of deploying a virtual edge gateway. The virtual edge gateway does support remote hard phones, so the IP400 series phones. It also remote it supports the remote soft phones through the Connect client. Um, and then and again, the other three, as we mentioned in the previous slide, would be the remote hard phones, soft phones, remote soft phones with VPN connections and external assignment. Now, the remote edge, uh, the remote gateway, the virtual edge gateway, is the most reliable and best way to do it. Uh, it does require a little bit of IT. Uh, input and coordination mainly because it's a router that sits on the edge of your environment and it's going to require things like public DNS entries, public IP addresses, maybe some natting, uh, porting of, of SSL um, ports which would be 443, certificate entry and input, all the sort of fun stuff. So it takes a little bit longer to get it spun up but it's more effective in the long run. So it is a VPL concentrator. You can see here that the Edge Gateway has a phone and a soft phone. It allows the workers that connect through the Edge Gateway. Um, and this is only providing network connectivity for the telephony network, which means the phone or the VPN client, sorry, the phone or the Connect client does not provide any access to the remote user to your corporate area network. So it is not a replacement for an SSL client connection on your desktop to get access to the data network. This is purely to connect to your voice network. The other thing we talked about too was the uh, edge gateway, sorry not the edge gateway, but the VPN gateway SSL concentrator that allows VPN router to the gateway. So this is typically where you're going to have a VPN capable firewall at a remote office that is going to be able to connect back via VPN branch tunnel and allow both soft phone and hard phones to work over that connection. Now, as I mentioned, with the soft phone, it'll work. You just need a USB headset. Uh, but this option is not very scalable, meaning the more that you add these remote tunnels, number one, you have to have your firewall VPN concentrator is able to support multiple firewalls or multiple VPN connections, and there might be a limit or a license you have to pay for that. And then your IT group is going to have to support these remote VPN firewalls and tunnels to make sure those users are up and working. So. It is an option, it's not very scalable. The other option we talked about is if you have a desktop VPN client, soft client, your laptops can connect to or your remote um, PCs can connect to the corporate local area network and these soft phones then can connect up to that network and be used for everyday use, everyday business use. Now the one thing you're going to require is a USB headset and a soft phone license if you don't already have it. This option is much more scalable, but it does require uh, more network administration on the back end, meaning remote phones, soft clients over VPNs, the networks are going to come into play, which meaning any remote phone is going to have to have access to any other remote network, whether it be at the corporate, whether it be another lo local office, or be another VPN remote user. So what we typically find is 
when VPN clients get deployed, they try to connect the, the short tail soft phone. There's some initial um, benefits where they can connect everybody at the headquarters, everything works fine. As soon as they try to call somebody in another office or they try to call some another remote worker, they get what's either no audio or, or one way audio. And this is almost exclusively, and again, this is over 15 years I've been doing this, I've yet to find it where it's not a network routing issue. It always is a network routing issue. So again, if you're going to deploy this, one of the things I would suggest is deploy two in your testing. Uh, and one of your tests is going to be, you know, one remote user calling in, making calls to internal users, make calls to external numbers, also make calls to other users at other branches if you have them. And lastly, make calls to other remote users. So have at least two VPN clients in your testing and have those both try to connect up and talk to each other. And if you can get audio in those scenarios, all the remote users or remote locations, you're way ahead of the game uh, as opposed to trying to figure out what's going wrong or why you're not getting audio. The last option we have, and again, these are the last option as far as what's available and what's quick to sort of deploy and get in place is external assignment. It's a function of the PBX. Now, this is where you externally assign your phone to your number to a remote phone number. So this could be your home phone, cottage phone, mobile phone. Uh, it could be a location where you're temporarily working out of and you've got a DID. And every time a call comes in, it's going to call this mobile phone and you're going to see it on your communicator, your connect client. Other users are going to see it. It's going to record your uh, call detail records. The disadvantage is that it's very heavy on the trunking, which means um, let's assume that you're externally assigned to your home number and a call comes in from a customer from the outside. It's going to take one trunk to call in and it's going to take one trunk to call you. So that one call is going to take two phone lines or two trunks. So if you look at a company that has a PRI, which is at least 23, because any less than that, it's not even practical. Uh, at best, you could support would be 11 concurrent remote users with external assignment, which would mean there's one available channel for inbound calls. And most companies need at least more than one channel or trunk for an inbound call. Now, this is an option. And again, it doesn't scale well. And if you're going to use it for a handful of users, that'll be okay. If you're going to use it for 100, you're going to have to make sure that you've got, you know, at any one time, 200 trunks they're going to be available just for your external users and that doesn't include the calls that are coming in so as we talked about today and I'm wrapping up this conversation you know we're looking at the options of an edge gateway if you're on connect uh, can support hard phone soft phones you can do remote hard phones and soft phones over branch tunnel VPN that's a VPN to VPN configuration uh, remote softwares over VPN, a VPN software connection or client connection and external assignment Thank you and have a great day.